In this video, we will see how to create a quiz in WordPress with Brave. First, go to your campaigns page. Click the plus icon from the top. If you want to embed the quiz into a post or page, select the new embedded content button. Since we want to create a pop-up, let's select the new pop-up button. Give your campaign a title. You can start from scratch or with a preset template. To create from scratch click the start with blank button. Let's create a welcome step of the campaign where we will display our call to action for the quiz. Now let's create the second step of the campaign where we will add the quiz form. First, duplicate the current step. Remove the unnecessary elements from the duplicated step. Then insert a form element. Remove the existing fields. Click the form settings button and switch the form type to quiz. You can set the quiz scoring to either point based or answer based. The answer-based quizzes let you create trivia that can display the total correct answer count once the quiz is submitted. If you select points-based, you can set points for each option of your multi-choice questions. Let's keep the point scoring option to points-based. Now let's add a new step by clicking the Add Item button. Then click Add Step. To add fields in your new step, click the Add Field button inside the step. You can distribute your quiz points in multi-choice fields. Fields that can have quiz points are marked with Q icons. Let's add a radio field. Give your field a name. Then write down your quiz question in the field label. From the field options section, you can add pre-defined answers for visitors to select. Now to distribute points for each option of this field, click the points text visible above each option. Write down how many points you want visitors to achieve when they select this option. Distribute the points the same way for all the options of this field. Let's add a few more steps to our quiz. To preview the steps in the canvas, click the I buttons. To move a field from one step to another, the Move icon and select the step where you want to move the field. To change the step button text, click the three dots of each step, and change the default button text to anything you want. There are various ways you can display the total points visitors achieved in the quiz. You can display it as your form submission success message. You can display the result in another step of the campaign. Or you can email the quiz result to the visitor.
Let's see how you can display the quiz result inside the form submission success message. Open your form's action panel. Click the submission success action tab. You can insert the message with the total score shortcode and available score shortcode. You can also conditionally display a specific message based on visitor's quiz score. If you want to display the score in a custom step instead, create a new step in your campaign or duplicate the current step. To display the quiz score, first insert a text element. From the Text Elements Settings panel, enable the Dynamic Text option. Select the Score of Quiz option. You can also select the second option to display both the available score and visitor's total score. Now let's make sure the form sends the visitor to this step when they submit the quiz. Go back to Step 2 of the campaign and open your form's action panel. Click the Submission Success Action tab. Set the action type to go to another step. Write down 3 in the step field. Now when the visitors submit the quiz they will be taken to the third step of the campaign where their quiz score will be displayed. If you want to send the quiz result to visitors' email instead of instantly showing the result, open your form's action panel. Enable the automated email reply option. Write down your email subject. Insert your custom email message. You can display the quiz result by inserting the total score shortcode and available score shortcode. You can also conditionally display a specific message based on visitors' quiz scores. Now when the visitor submits the quiz, they will automatically receive the quiz score in their email. With Brave, you can add visitors to different newsletters based on their quiz scores, or add them to the same newsletter but with different tags. First, make sure your quiz has an email field. Then open your Form Actions panel. Then open the Newsletter Settings tab. Select your email marketing service provider. Enable the Advanced mode. Click the Newsletter Sign Up Settings button. Once the Advanced Settings panel opens up, enable the Conditional Subscription option. Click the Add Condition button to add a new condition. Let's set up our first condition to add visitors to a specific newsletter list if their score is between 10 to 20. First, select your newsletter. Then click the plus icon to add a new rule to your condition. Since we are trying to match a quiz score as our condition, select Quiz Result from the drop-down list. You can choose from multiple matching options. Since we are trying to match a score range, let's select quiz points in between. Write down 10 to 20. Click Add Rule button. Now when a visitor's quiz score is between 10 to 20, Brave will automatically add the visitor to this specified newsletter. You can also add tags to your contact by specifying it in the Tags field. This tag will be applied only if the quiz score is between 10 to 20. Let's add another condition which will add visitors who scored 21 to 30 to another newsletter list. Once you have set up your conditions, select the default newsletter list. If none of your conditions match, your visitors will be added to this list. Now let's map the form fields from the Data to Send tab. Once you have set up the newsletter settings, close the Advanced panel and be sure to enable the Newsletter option. With Brave, you can automatically redirect visitors to different pages or step based on their quiz score.
This is a great way to increase your conversion rate by displaying targeted offers to different visitors based on their answers. To redirect visitors to different pages based on their quiz score, open your form's action panel. Then open the Submission Success Action tab. From the Action Type dropdown, select Redirect to another page. Enable the last option that says Redirect to different URLs based on submitted form data. Now let's say you want visitors to redirect to a certain page if the quiz score is between 10 to 20. Click the Add Condition button to add a new condition. From the first drop-down menu, select Quiz Points. From the second drop-down menu, select your condition type. Let's select the In-Between option. Simply write down 10 to 20 in the Value field. Finally, insert the URL where you want the visitor to redirect. Following these steps, you can create multiple conditions to match other quiz scores. To save the quiz submissions in the database, go to your campaign's settings page. Scroll down to the Form Submission section and enable the Save Submission option. Once you have configured the quiz, make it live by publishing the campaign. Try out your newly created quiz. Now when the quiz is submitted by visitors, their submissions will be automatically saved in the database and can be accessed from the submissions page.